The retirement ceremony is the Navy's and the nation's expression of appreciation for a job well done and a sincere official recognition for a long period of faithful and honorable service. It is a day of great significance which marks the end of a way of life defending freedom and democracy around the world. Just as this ceremony commemorates the end of one phase in his life, it also marks the beginning of another. Today, CTM-1 Benser culminates a distinguished career spanning 20 years of dedicated service. This gathering gives us an opportunity to wish him every success in the future as he looks forward to new challenges and rewards. We extend an especially warm welcome to his wife, Lissa, and his children, Savannah and Michael. Thank you for joining us today. We understand that you, more than any of us, know these sacrifices that CTM-1 Benser has made during his career in the service of our country. On behalf of the entire command, thank you. Boston, post the side boys. Aye, sir. Side boys. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the parading of the colors and the invocation. <laughs> Cryptologic Technician Maintenance First Class, United States Navy, arriving. NCTS Guam, arriving. Bosun, post the sideboard. Aye, sir. Sideboard, left, all right, face. Color guard, parade the colors. Color guard, attention. Carry colors. Ready to forward march. Mock time. March. Left and wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United States of America.
Mr. Dave McConkie will now deliver the invocation. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, today we come to you with deep gratitude in our hearts for all the gifts you give us each day, for family, loved ones, good friends, laughter, and our jobs and careers supporting this great nation. Help us to always receive these gifts with thanksgiving, and may our hearts be stirred to remember all of your mercies which we receive through your love towards us. We're gathered here today acknowledging the service of CTM1, Dennis Spencer. His time at NCTS Guam is ending, and he will soon begin a new stage in life's journey. So we ask that you keep your hand of grace on him as he sets out to explore new horizons. He is retiring from the Navy, but not from life. This new phase of his life will present some exciting challenges, a challenge to be flexible in the midst of unknown variables. Lord, give him patience. A challenge for creativity. Lord, give him vision. A challenge to continue to live life well in the midst of changes. Lord, give him integrity. And perhaps the most difficult a challenge to slow down and enjoy life a little bit more. Lord, give him joy and peace in the quietness. And help him to be grateful for a life full of mission and purpose. May he find new ways to be fulfilled in the years to come. We ask also that you bless his wife, Lissa, and children, Savannah and Michael. Give them your strength and grace as they all together step off into this new endeavor. And of course, we ask a special blessing for his whole family, that they may grow together and deeper as the years go by. We pray all this in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Now, please welcome Lieutenant Commander Nelson, NCTS Guam. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. Sorry about that, that's the wrong speech. Thanks, Lieutenant. First, I want to thank you all for coming to help us celebrate CTM1 Venture's amazing journey. To lift them up and to say thanks for more than 20 years of faithful service to his country, to his Navy, and yes, to each of us, his shipmates. The commanding officer couldn't be here today because his boss scheduled a change of command on the same day. I spoke with him and he promised to talk to his boss to ensure this doesn't happen again. All jokes aside, he did want me to express his gratitude for your service and his regret for not being able to attend. More than 20 years ago, a young man was approached by a book peddler. The peddler offered up an amazing adventure from exciting places around the world. Eager to accept this book, but he was unsure of the trustworthiness of the salesman. Petty Officer Benson spoke to his family, his friends, 
and they read articles, but there were mixed reviews, mainly because many of them haven't read the book. As many of us have, as, as many of us in search for adventure, Petty Officer Benzer bought that book. He rushed home and immediately began to read it. At first, the words were hard, difficult to read. The storylines didn't seem to match the story, but he continued to read, and before he knew it, he had completed a chapter. But he didn't stop there. The second chapter seemed more intriguing, so he read on. Each chapter gave him enough to keep him going. Chapter after chapter, he read on. Throughout the chapter, there was amazing people, wonderful places, exotic foods, and yes, totally awesome adventures. But, but there were bad times. Times when he didn't know if he was, when times when the character didn't know if he would be able to make it. It wasn't until chapter eight or nine where the character met the love of his life. And life was good, oh so good. Well, it was until the adventurer crept in again and threatened to separate him from his love. And it did for a time or two. But they teamed up. They put on their battle gear and they fought on as a family, determined to tackle the journey together. It was at this time the Petty Officer Benzer noticed that the words on the page started to move around, like the water in a fishbowl carried by a small child. He noticed that the words were bound on the he noticed that the words were not bound to the pages, that he could manipulate those words, even control some of them. So he arranged the words, and before long, he was making sentences, pages, and chapters. He observed that not only had to teach me how to make hamburgers, I think I need to repeat that chapter. And now to witness the close of your Navy chapter and the beginning of new. Thank you and fair winds and following seats. All right, so with all that said, I would like to welcome the master of, of book peddling and your guest speaker, Sam Chief King. Thank you to the EXO for that uh, very unique introduction. Uh, I've been called much worse, so I'm going to take that peddler and, and put that in the wind column, so thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, first, let me be begin by saying thank you to uh, CTM1 Bencer for giving me the privilege of speaking this afternoon as we honor you and your family after 20 years of dedicated service to our country. Now, normally, the guest speaker is someone who has been very close with the retiree, someone who has served with them, and someone who knows some of their deepest, darkest secrets. And normally what they do is they eagerly come up here and they share the deepest, darkest secrets with all of you. But unfortunately, I don't have any of those. So what I would like to do is to speak a little bit about CT1 Benzer. CT1 Benzer joined the Navy in 1996 from the city of Erie, located in Western Pennsylvania. Now, if you do five minutes of research on the city of Erie, you will be not surprised on why he desperately wanted to get out of it. <laughs> After completing boot camp and his initial schooling, he reported to his first duty station, a small base in Sugar Grove, West Virginia. Although fairly small, Sugar Grove for many years was one of our most important bases in the entire world for doing things that we do not talk about. Just things. From there, he went to the USS Chafee, which by the way, he says was his favorite and most rewarding tour. From there, he was eager to apply his used car salesman skills as a Navy recruiter in the city of Raleigh, North Carolina, which I'm told he did very, very well for himself. He followed up with a tour on the Winston Churchill, which he says was his worst tour before coming to NCTS. He's been with us for almost three years and has served in the FCO and behind the closed doors of the ECAM as well, where he has done a great job for us. He's been the face of our MWR program. He's the guy that works behind the scenes to make sure our command functions go off without a hitch. He was responsible for ensuring our last two Christmas parties were a success and enjoyed by all. He is well liked throughout the command, but more importantly, he is respected. He is respected by his peers and his seniors for his dedication to the mission 
and is amongst the most respected by his junior sailors. He's respected by them because of the caring leadership and mentorship he provides them day in and day out. And for that, I thank you. Before I finish, I would also like to say thank you to his wife, Lisa, for serving as a command ombudsman for the last 18 months. She has sacrificed her personal off time attending meetings and training sessions so she could prepare herself to serve our families when needed. So when talking about Lissa, I do have one interesting story to share about him. When Lissa and CTM1 first met, it was at a shopping mall in Austin, Texas. And where they met was at the, it was close to Easter, and they met at the Easter Bunny set in that mall. For the life of me, I don't know what a single man, not married, with no children, would be doing hanging out at the Easter Bunny set. I didn't ask, and quite frankly, I don't want to know. But despite that, she gave him a shot. She decided she would let him see what he can do, and he married her three years later. So in the end, that strategy worked out. So good for you. As I close, I would like to again thank CTM1 for allowing me to come up here and say a few words on your behalf. And I would just like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for what you've done for our country, our Navy, and for NPCS. I wish you and your family the best of luck in the future and in all your endeavors. Thank you. Will Lieutenant Commander Nelson and Petty Officer Benser please step forward. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Commander Nelson will now present Petty Officer Benser with his Retirement Award and Fleet Reserve Certificate. Attention to award. Guests, please rise. This is to certify that the Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, Gold Star and Lewis 7th Award to Cryptologic Technician Maintenance First Class Information Warfare Dennis M. Benser, United States Navy, for professional achievement while serving as the alternate electronic key management system manager for U.S. Naval Computer and Telecommunications Station Guam from August 2013 to August 2016. Petty Officer Benser led a team of six personnel in managing over 2,200 crypto line items while simultaneously providing support to 13 local elements. His efforts ensure continuous access to critical communication systems for over 30 tenant commands. As the Morale, Welfare, and Recreation Committee President, his dedica he dedicated over 600 off-duty hours conducting 15 command-sponsored events. Additionally, he volunteered over 180 hours to the local Boy Scouts of America troops. Petty Officer Benser's technical expertise, personal initiative, and unswerving devotion to duty greatly reflected credit upon himself and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Given this 12th day of August, 2016, signed M.J. Lambert, Commander, NCTS Guam Commanding Officer. Certificate of Appreciation from the Office of the President of the United States of America for service in the Armed Forces of the United States of America. Cryptologic Technician Maintenance First Class, Dennis M. Benser. I extend to you my personal thanks and sincere appreciation of a grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during a critical time in its history with devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with proud traditions of military service. Your commitment and dedication have been an inspiration for those who will follow in your footsteps and for all Americans who join me today in saluting you for a job extremely well done. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. Signed, Barack Obama, Commander-in-Chief. This is to certify that Cryptologic Technician Maintenance First Class, Dennis Michael Benser, was transferred to, from active duty to the Fleet Reserve of the United States Navy on the 30th day of September 2016 after 20 years of faithful service. This certificate is awarded as a testimonial 
of faithful and honorable service. Signed, M.J. Lambert, Commander, United States Navy. Guests, please be seated. Lissa, will you, Savannah, and Michael please join your husband and the commanding officer center stage? Certificate of Appreciation from the United States Navy to Lisa Benser, Lisa Benser. By the authority vested in me, it is my pleasure to express the grateful appreciation of the United States Navy to you for your unselfish, patriotic, and devoted service during your husband's military career. Your unfailing support and understanding helped immeasurably to make possible his lasting contribution to the nation. To those who say a single man cannot make a difference, I say wrong. Your husband did. He made our Navy stronger and kept our nation safe. With his service to the Navy now complete, he will be able to spend more time with you in the future. The United States Navy thanks you, and I thank you. Given this 12th day of August, 2016, signed M.J. Lambert, Commander, United States Navy. Petty Officer Benser will now be presented with a shadow box from the First Class Petty Officer Association. Petty Officer Benser will now be presented with the United States flag in honor of his 20 years of faithful service. Chief Select McKenzie will now read Old Glory. Flag detail, post. States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestic gestures on the great institutions of learning. I stand guard for the greatest military power in the world. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident I am proud. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my color is a little more truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped, I am saluted, I am respected, I am revered, I am loved, I am feared. For more than 200 years, I have fought in every battle of every war. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France. 
the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, Guam, Okinawa, Tarawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, in the heat of the Persian Gulf, Bosnia, Afghanistan, Iraq, and a score of places long forgotten by all, but by those who were there with me. I was there. I led my sailors and Marines. I followed them, watched over them. They loved me. I was on a small hill in Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired, but my sailors and Marines cheered me. I was proud. I had been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries that I helped set free. It does not hurt for I am invincible. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my own country. And when it is done by those whom I have served in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the bounds of birth, and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. I have been a silent witness to all of America's finest hours. I have flown over the top of the World Trade Center, and after September 11, 2001, I have flown over its rubble to remind the evil in our world that my spirit will not be crushed. The American people will not be broken. Those who would destroy me cannot win, for I am a symbol of freedom, of one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. But my finest hour comes when I am torn in strips to be used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly at half mast to honor my sailors and Marines, and when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving loved one at the graveside of a sailor or Marine, I am proud. My name is Old Glory. Long may I wait, dear God. Long may I wait. Details. Hello. Hey. Black detail. Post. This flag, presented to Petty Officer Benzo, was flown over the USS Arizona Memorial on December 7, 2015, the 74th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Ladies and gentlemen, Cryptologic Technician Maintenance, First Class, Dennis Benzo. Uh, unlike the two speakers, I do not have a set speech. I've had three years to instill guidance on you guys. I think I did a pretty good job. Set my mark. You guys will never forget me, right? So I like to think of these retirements uh, like my favorite show. Michael. Uh, Game of Thrones. Um, a retirement is like a death on Game of Thrones. It happens all the time, but each one is different. There's some that you see coming from a mile away and you're ready for, and then there's some that you can't wait to happen, like Joffrey or Ramsey. And then I, want, I wanted to be in a special category, the one you didn't see coming, really, and the one that breaks your heart. So my retirement is like the death of Hodor. <laughs> Everyone loves Hodor. You didn't want to see him go, but it was bound to happen. So it's, it's not the most enjoyable thing, but I was glad to have served with you guys. You guys have done a great job so far. Um, haven't been able to uh, point and laugh at anyone yet this ceremony. Although I got to say, Caldwell, this isn't painful. Smile. <laughs> um, 
And don't worry, I'm not going to call anyone out for being lazy. Ouch. <laughs> Inside joke. Um, but I do want to thank my wife, Lissa. Here I come, sir. Um, she's done a lot for her. Uh, then, you know, um, mostly dishes. <laughs> Uh, before we were doing hamburgers, we did a lot of breakfast, and uh, she woke up with a sink full of dishes, and the only thank you she got was a breakfast burrito in the oven. But, darn it, I didn't want to cry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I couldn't have done it without you guys, and uh, Caldwell, I think you're going to start crying too. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, hopefully I'll be back uh, as a civilian, but we don't know. So, again, thank you all. Thank you, Petty Officer Benzer. Boson, post the side boys. Aye, sir. This order has been passed on naval ships from the 1500s through today. Spanish, French, English, Dutch. Yes, every Navy in the world has used the boatswain's call and side boys to bring aboard or send ashore its officers, visiting officers, and all visiting dignitaries. The side boys would haul on the ropes and raise or lower the boarding platform so officers would not have to climb the rat line. This honor was extended to visiting officers, dignitaries, and port officials. It was not uncommon for the commanding officer of a ship to order up the jolly boat, a crew of eight strongbacks, side boys, and boatmen to send an old shipmate and fellow officer to his short retirement home, never to sail on naval ships again. All hands on deck was passed. The speeches were made about great victories, battles fought upon open sea, raging storms weathered, and voyages to distant and strange lands with ports of call others only dreamed about. Then, a fine sword, a brace of pistols, a musket, and a sea chest of fine wood bound in brass was presented to remind him of crews and ships with which he had served. The boatswain would stand tall beside boys, and the retiree would request permission to go ashore. He stepped to the platform, and the side boys would lower away. As the jolly boat pulled away, the gunner would fire a salute from the ship's main battery as the retiree sat in the stern, going ashore. In the late 1700s, the US Navy set sail with new ideas, new goals, and a desire to build tradition that would stand the test of time. The Navy led the way in providing honors for crewmen. The 1800s saw the holding of retirement for enlisted men for the first time. The captain would allow the jolly boat to take the enlisted retired ashore. After the Civil War, the commanding officers began to hold enlisted retirement ceremonies to show the crew that they and the Navy recognized the contributions of the enlisted men. Today our Navy has given most of the pomp and circumstance, the honors, the traditions and ceremonies back to history. Time does not give us the freedom to do these things from the past. Nevertheless, we still have to stop all engines, lay about smartly, and drop anchor to pay honor to one of our shipmates going ashore. As we close today's ceremony, we observe this tradition once more, to pay honor to one of our shipmates going ashore for the final time. To honor the years served, the guidance, the leadership, the friendship, and the expertise that this shipmate has freely given during the course of his career. ET1 Den will now read the watch.
For 20 years, CTM1 Benzer stood to watch. While others lay in their bunks at night, he stood to watch. While others were attending school, he stood to watch. Even before some of you were born, this shipmate stood to watch. Though he saw his friends and family ashore, he stood to watch. Cryptologic Technician Maintenance First Class Benzer has stood to watch so that we and our fellow countrymen can sleep peacefully each night. Those you have led, guided, and trained are here to say, we relieve you, we have the watch. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction. Let's bow our heads in prayer one more time. Lord, as we dismiss from this ceremony, may we not be dismissed from your presence. As we congratulate and thank Dennis today for this great land of the United States of America. Remember, Lord, in your mercy, all who have paid the ultimate price with their lives for our freedom. Give them eternal life and peace. Bless Dennis's family and every family with abundant gifts of faith, hope, and love. Amen. Boatswain, stand by to pipe the side. Shipmate going ashore. <laughs> Cryptologic Technician Maintenance First Class Petty Officer Dennis Michael Benzer, United States Navy, retired, departed. Navy family, departed. <laughs> NCTS Wall, departed. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the retirement ceremony. On behalf of CTM1 Benzer and the entire command, thank you for attending. Please join CTM1 Benzer and his family for refreshments. Sideboys, dismissed.